1943 D. Washington Quarter in Mint State 68. Mint Mark D. indicates this 25-cent piece was issued by Denver branch of the Mint. According to NGC, as is typical of the war years, the Denver Mint quarter dollars of this year are the ones most likely to be found well struck from properly maintained dies. Of course, far few coins were struck there than at the Philadelphia Mint, so it was perhaps possible to swap out worn dies more frequently. But superb gem specimens are highly sought after. In Mint State 67 plus and over NGC population drops drastically. This lustrous condition rarity ended up selling for $2,040 on January 14, 2024. Moving on with this tone 1932 D. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 64 by PCGS. The 1932 D. Washington Quarter is one of the two big key dates of the series. Its mintage of 436,800 coins is the second lowest of the series. Collecting quarters was not a popular pastime in 1932, despite the popularity of coin collecting in general. Cents, nickels, and dimes were viewed as inexpensive issues that were avidly collected from circulation by the general public. Numismatic demand for the coins finally developed after World War II, and most survivors were culled from circulation by 1960. This MS-64 gem was sold on January 14, 2024 for $2,160. Next. Vividly toned registry coin. 1962 Washington Quarter in Mint State 67+. plus, A pristine, satiny example of this late silver issue, showing sharp definition with swaths of rainbow toning running throughout each side. The 1962 quarter is scarce in MS-67 and rare with A-plus designation, while finer pieces are unknown at PCGS, as of January 2024. This specimen was sold for $3,840. Radiant 1941 D quarter dollar. Graded in Mint State 68 by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, a remarkably small number of 1,941 D Washington quarters are certified in MS-68, and none are finer. This NGC coin glistens with pristine, softly frosted mint luster that radiates brilliant across the interiors, seeding to russet toning at the borders, reminiscent of old-time roll toning. The strike is sharp, and I appeal gleams from the surfaces. It was sold for $4,320 on January 10, 2024. Here is 1936 quarter dollar in mint state 68 with star designation. Lovely color evenly surrounds silvery centers on this sparking superb gem, with canary, gold, amber, and lilac surrounding the rim. Bountiful satin luster radiates from both sides, and the surfaces are essentially devoid of contact, as expected. A memorable coin for the finest registry set which ended up selling for $6,900. 1937 Washington Quarter with Double Die Obverse. Graded in Mint State 66 by NGC. The date and motto are strongly die doubled on this cherry picker's guide variety. Both sides are completely brilliant and highly lustrous. Raised circular lathe lines, as made, appear on the obverse. The portrait and eagle exhibit full definition. Bill Fivas and J.T. Stanton call the 1937 FS 101 DDO quarter one of the most important in the series. It is the single finest certified example at NGC and PCGS combined. It was bargained for $7,800. And the last one. Vividly toned 1955 D. Washington quarter. Graded in Mint State 67 plus by PCGS and later confirmed by CAC. This Denver issue presents a challenge for registry collectors, particularly those assembling PCGS sets. While NGC reports several dozen coins as fine as MS 67, PCGS has only seen eight pieces in this grade. Of those eight coins, the present example is singularly plus designated, making it the sole finest PCGS certified 1955 D. Washington quarter. For the registry collector, no other coin compares. Vivid amber, pistachio green, gold, and lilac toning encompasses the left obverse margin. Similar hues roll over onto the upper reverse border, and satiny luster prevails overall. A sharp strike completes the ensemble. It ended up selling for $40,800. And there you have it, the surprising value of 7 rare quarters in 2024. If you enjoyed this episode and are eager to learn more about valuable coins, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and hit that notification bell to stay in the loop. Who knows, your pocket change might be hiding a numismatic gem. Take care.